All right, guys, you know what time it is. I'm Ryan, my man, yep. George. Yep. We get all the pleasantries yep. out the way, man. Boy. Let's get to it. Let's Woo, get to it. Future. We already late, and the shit came out last night, and we still late in this situation. I'm hyped up. Let's do it. I know you hyped up. Let's you do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. New new artists, man. You know, the information in the description. If you want to do a full song or a pre-roll, you know, we got you hooked up, man. If you don't know by now, you better ask somebody. Let's get it. Future, <laughs> Metro, and Kendrick, because we know, mm -hmm. like that. Let's get into it. Oh, I thought I was going to be like, <laughs> Gotta buy my joint up from this bitch. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. Let's get up already. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. please. Cause this shit's not like it's about to be crazy. All right, what was that? That do, 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 do. What was that? Grandmaster Flash or some shit like Something that? Like that. Back in the day, you know what I'm saying? That's an old school like hip hop beat. You know, I I, I don't remember. I have to look the shit up, but. I remember that beat, but the way he's mixing this shit up already, that sound like that's about to be crazy. Hey. Got a yeah. five joint up on this bitch. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. Three times. Hey. Yeah. Sticking to the code, all mm. these hoes for the street. I put it in her nose, it's gonna make her pussy leak. Said niggas told ain't gonna wake up at least sleep. I can't hear that switch, but you can hear them niggas scream. All my hoes do shows, nigga. All my hoes do coke. 20 carat ring, I put my fingers down her throat. If I lose a carrot, she might choke. I know she gon' swallow, she'll go. Free bed, nigga, bring them rats in. Cut the shooters in the corner, like the pack in. She think cause she was out of bitch, she attract you. That's that shit that get you put up at the station. And I'm out of still the same. Fire like I won a championship game. You know these hoes hungry, they gon' fuck for a name. I put her on the game, she get fucked for a chain. Got your girl in this bitch, you twirling on the dick. Oh my god, easy in too. I got syrup in this bitch, turn up in this bitch. And it's about the herbs in this bitch, you murked in this bitch. All these pointers on me, baby, you know it's game time. Bring a friend, bitch, we fuck him at the same time. He fucking destroyed this bitch, man. <laughs> fucking destruction. Metro's on the he's yo, he, Is he on the Mount Rushmore? Yes. I'm going to keep it real. A producer's, man. Metro destroyed this bitch. God, God damn. God, this sounds so fucking nasty, man. And whoever made this, this original beat, you know, like I said, Grandmaster Flash or whoever um, made this original beat, it didn't have this much bass in it. Yeah, the bass is he, tough. He, the way he's chopping this up and adding the uh, the the lower bass notes to it, man, and the pauses. I've always mentioned that about Metro Boone, how he pauses and stops the, the music and puts it. Mm. My God, this shit is 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 destruction. He had the Easy E sample in there. You yes. were saying that, Ryan? Yeah, yes. the Easy E sample. You know. He wants he wants it. It. Yep. I'm, I'm around our way. Easy. Yeah. You know, but he's chopping that up too. Right. In it. You know what I mean? So right. it's just yeah, my God. Shit in there, man. My God. And I think Wayne, Wayne, somebody else rapped on this beat. This was this beat with this uh sample. Someone, a big time rapper, rapped on this, and I cannot think of it. I might it might have been Lil Wayne on one of the mixtapes. But Whoa. the beat, anyways, man, y'all get it, man. The my beat is crazy. Her name. I put her on the game, she get fucked for a chain. Got your girl in this bitch, she's twirling on the dick. I got syrup in this bitch, turn up in this bitch. And it's about the herbs in this bitch, you murked in this bitch. All these pointers on me, baby, you know it's game time. Spring a friend, bitch, we fuck them at the same time. I'm a different nigga, no, we not the same kind. You can't have that look, bitch, you ain't mine. Young dope, you was selling dope, bitch, you like that. Kicking those, kicking in those, is you like that. Young dope, nigga selling lows, is you like that. All 24, you won't go as you like that. Niggas from the bottom really like that. Step in them balances if you like that. We ain't going to get to Kendrick, bro. I like the chorus too, man. You know what I'm saying? What did he say? What's the chorus? What did he say? Yo, dope, dealer, selling dope. Is you like that? Kicking down those and doors. Is you like that? He said, all 24, you won't go. Is you like that? You know what I'm saying? 24 hours, you don't go at all times. Yeah. 24 hours a day, 24-7. Stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Right. My yeah. God. This is the bottom, they like nasty. I'm a different nigga. No, we not the same kind. You can't have that look. Bitch, you ain't mine. Yeah. 
young dope, dealer selling dope, is you like that? Kicking those, kicking in those, is you like that? Young throw, nigga selling lows, is you like that? All 24, you won't go, is you like that? Niggas from the bottom really like that. Stepping in balances if you like that. Pop another bottle if you like that. These niggas talking out of their neck. Don't pull no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. BOT, the money, power, respect. The last one is better. Say yes, a lot of goofies with a check. I mean, oh, I hope them sentiments symbolic. Oh, my temperament bipolar, I choose violence. Okay, let's get it up. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. Niggas clicking up, but pay not be legit. No 40 water. Tell him, oh. Yeah, yeah, get up with me. Fuck sneak this and first person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. I crash out like fuck rap. This Melly Mel if I had to. Got two T's with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's up. Lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. If he walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre 3K. Think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. Nigga, hey, okay. yeah, I'm really like that. And your best work is a light pack. Nigga, Prince outlive Mike Jack. Nigga, boom. For all your dogs getting buried, that's a K with all these nines. He go see Pet Cemetery, nigga. Young dope, dealer selling dope, is you like that? Kicking dogs, kicking in dogs, is you like that? Young throw, nigga selling laws, is you like that? All 24, you won't go, is you like that? Niggas from the bottom really like that. Stepping in balances, if you like that. Pop another bottle, if you like that. Selling dope, is you like that? Kicking those, kicking in those, is you like that? Young throw, nigga selling lows, is you like that? All 24, you won't go, is you like that? Niggas from the bottom really like that. Stepping in balances, if you like that. Pop another bottle, if you like that. Came bringing dope, niggas was John slanging powder. Walk in a strip club, make it rain for three hours. <laughs> and then now I got my phantom in my driver. Perked out, took chances in my hood like Nevada. Say, <laughs> 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 he was like, he's rapping though. Hundred thousands, I just cashed out on the designer. Uh, he was rapping to end that shit off. Yeah. <laughs> Now they had to fade that shit yeah, out. That is crazy right there. That shit is, that brings me back, man. That beat is so hard, man. We're going to get to Kendrick in a minute. I know that that's where everybody want to talk about. Man. I get it. But that beat is so hard, man. It reminds me of old school, like, West Coast beats where they let the beat play out at the end of the song. The, the fuck, this beat was so nasty. I was telling George that the beat had its own solo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like, like uh, yeah. Metro was like, all right, man, let, let me get it. Let me get a spot in here just to to mix the beat up a little bit and just let that shit bang out. That shit is crazy, dude. <laughs> Jesus, I, man, that shit is crazy. All yeah, right, man, this was um, <laughs> nah, they delivered though. This was this was a highly anticipated oh album. The Future and Metro, you know, they they don't miss typically together. So this was highly anticipated. So they had a beat right. Future, the swag was right throughout this. I love the chorus. I love his whole, you know how it is with Future, man. You know what I'm saying? He have his little slick, little cool lines. The swag was there. And then to have Kendrick, you know what I mean? And I wish we would have been 100% caught off guard because I know that everyone was caught off guard when they heard Kendrick. We weren't caught off guard because y'all blew our ass yeah. up and said to get the shit done with Kendrick. Uh -huh. But had we been caught off guard and just heard Kendrick start rapping just like you guys heard it, man, that would have been even crazier. But yeah, this, this was fire, though, man. Crazy, crazy. All right, man. Uh... Kendrick's verse, man. Uh, what did he say at the beginning? He's all these dudes talking out their necks. Don't pull a coffin out your mouth. I'm too paranoid for a threat. That's hard right there. You know, when people say you, you're talking outside of your mouth, that means you just, you're talking crazy. You, you, you want something to happen to you if you're talking violent like that. And he's like, don't pull a coffin out your mouth. Don't, get, don't let what you say get yourself killed. You know what I'm saying? Put in the coffin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that was a hard way to start this right. shit off. So I, I didn't know who he was talking about you, until you speak, later on. You speaking death on your name. <laughs> Did he say, what did he say? D-O-T, the money, power, respect. The last one is better. So is he saying that um, if that dude, he's respected in the game? Kendrick's like, man, the last one's better. That's what you want. You know what I mean? Everybody's all, what did he say? There's a lot of goofies with a check. 
So a lot of lame motherfuckers got Absolutely. a lot of money. <laughs> and they got a little bit of power. But they lame, though. <laughs> but they ain't got the respect. The George one's better. George love that. Yeah, right love that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but yeah, I feel like that's what he's saying there. You know what I'm saying? And then all. money, power, respect, what you need in life. You know, that that's like a bonus right there. Yeah. You, you giving them the bonus. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the lots that made mm -hmm. this the, the uh, song Money, Power, Respect. And then he said, man, okay, let's get him up. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. He's all dudes clicking up, but cannot be legit. No 40 water. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know if he's um, f referencing a be legit and E40, E40 song back in the day. You know, I used to listen to that. I don't remember a song called Clicking Up, but maybe there is one. Y'all give me some. He said, yeah, he said no clicking up. So, right. yeah, maybe I'm, I don't know. I'm not that familiar with damn sure don't know shit about be legit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's a song. So yeah. maybe it is. But I, you know, but what I think he's saying, though, is uh, dudes clicking up. You know what I mean? Uh, meaning probably people getting together, making songs, you know what I'm saying? Maybe sending shots, you know what I mean? He's all, but can't be legit. Be legit is a rapper, by the way, but but you're not you're not real. You're not, you're not legitimately about this lifestyle. So I don't know if he's saying it's time for him to prove he's a problem, talking about somebody else, or if he's saying, all right, it's time for me to prove that I'm really a fucking problem out here. Mm -hmm. It's time for me to prove it because uh, y'all think that this is a game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because <laughs> I be doing my abstract shit sometimes, but I can get in the, I can so, get in the booth and, and really rap with y'all. So that's the thing. So does so so Kendrick? That's that, that's a great um, breakdown, Ryan. Because initially when he said that, like let's get it up. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. Initially I was taking that as like maybe he's saying it's time for Drake. To prove that he's a problem, like it's time for you to get get your bootstraps up. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's, it's time to go to war. You need to prove that you can get it in. But I think you might be right, man. I think Kendrick feels that he has to prove that he's a problem. And I guess I didn't think that because I'm like, why would Kendrick think that he has to prove it? And maybe he thinks he has to prove it because we ain't really seen Kendrick get in the ring. Yeah, yeah. We ain't seen him get in the ring. <laughs> we ain't seen Drake get his hands dirty, baby. We didn't see. We ain't seen Cole get in the ring. But yeah. we seen Drake get his hands dirty. That's Win, true. lose, or draw. He put them gloves yeah, on. Right. He put them gloves on. And he performed well in all of them. Even if he uh -huh. lost, he still got busy. Uh -huh. So maybe Kendrick feels the need to say, yo, it's time for me to prove that I'm the problem. I don't know. Kendrick, he said he came down from the uh, from the mountains, man, with the Tibetan monks and shit. Because, you know, he was on his spiritual journey. Yeah, he said, yeah, yeah, let me take off these beads. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me take off these, you know, these slippers and all that. You know what I mean? You know, he, he really tried to get his hands dirty is what it looks like. When he said, oh, them sentiments symbolic, you know, um, and he's saying, oh, you know, when, when, he, when he had mentioned like, oh, they clicking up, how I took that initially when he said, oh, and he kept saying that, it's like, oh, look at that. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> y'all need, need, need to team up and shit. Y'all can't stand on business by yourself, so y'all got to team up and be a little team, tag team. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm independent with my shit, though. I stand on business by myself. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that that him saying all Maybe. is related to that. That's how I took it. And let's get to it, right? Yeah. Fuck sneak this in first person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. You know what I'm saying? He said I crash out like fuck rap. This Melly Mel if I had to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was hard though, because you know Melly Mel is symbolic of like the he's the uh, the Godfather of this yeah, shit, right? Yeah. Like started hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. One of the pioneers of this shit. So if I'm 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 crashing out, I'm ready to like fuck all this rap shit. I'm ready to take it to, to the violent route, right? I'm ready right. to take it off rap. So there's no more of a symbolic way to say fuck rap than to diss a pioneer of rap. Yeah, Not true. literally diss Melly Mel, yeah. but just like, fuck rap. I diss this motherfucker. I diss mm -hmm. a king of this shit if I have to. I thought that that was cool. But him saying fuck sneak dissing, fuck sneak dissing, first person shooter. <laughs> I hope they brought three switches. You know what I'm saying? I hope they got plenty of uh, art artillery is yeah. what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? I hope they bought, they bought the whole cavalry for, for what I'm about to bring to him is what he's saying. Fuck the sneak dissing. Uh -huh. Fuck, I'm going straight at, I want y'all to know who I'm talking about, which is what I love. Because at some point, all of the greats, all of the guys that we want to, you know, most of them at least, they, they get right to you, direct. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Ass Nas, he don't want it with Hov. You know what I'm saying, right? That yeah. Jay-Z take over. Yeah. And Nas clearly with Ether. Like, very direct. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Tupac. Very direct, yep, you know what I'm saying? So at a certain point, the sneak dissing has to amount to something. Yep. You know what I'm saying? All this shit is cute and all that, but at some <laughs> point, y'all need to really like let it be known what's going on. Like claim that, claim that throne. So I don't know, man. What do you think? Do you think he got a problem a lot with, with J. Cole and Drake? Like, man, fuck that, because first person shooter, that song, that was Drake and J. Cole, and J. Cole kind of went crazy on that. I love that song. But uh, do you think that, that J. Cole's catching some of the, the fire too? Because he said, fuck the big three, it's just me. Yeah, yeah. I you think he has saying? a problem with J. Cole saying that he's that dude. 
I think <laughs> I think that yeah, you you my man, but there, there can only be one. Is that what the Highlander. The Highlander. <laughs> there can only be one. You my man. You Dark know. McLeod. I love hearing boxers talk like boxers that have relationships with each other that are cool. You know what I'm saying? Because it's interesting. Because it, it, especially if they're around the same weight class. Because at a certain point. They're gonna have to go. We out. gotta get in the ring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If if we if you wanna be the guy and I wanna be the guy and we mm -hmm. around the same weight class, sorry, bro. You know, that friendship gotta go out the window at least for that for the night and we gotta get it in. So I just think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. You keep doing this, so you know, you got your little feature run. You smacking dudes around on these features and you're not sitting there wallowing about being the third, the bronze guy anymore, and you know, you mm -hmm. I see you getting a little you little hot out there. Okay. <laughs> All right, you, you get a little bit too hot. You know what I'm saying? You, you get a little bit too hot. I'm seeing the conversations. They talking about me being, you know, Mr. Spiritual Guy and all that. I'm coming back outside. Yeah. Uh, let me, I'm putting it into all that. You know what I'm saying? And then I can go back to making my uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. enlightenment shit. Yeah, let me come smack you yeah, smack motherfuckers yeah. around, restore order a little yeah. bit, and then I'm going to go back into hype. You know what I'm saying? To finish praying or some shit. But in all seriousness, I think it's just purely just uh, competitive with J. Cole. I think they, Kendrick and J. Cole have a very good relationship, yeah. I believe, to my knowledge. So I think it's pure competition. Now, with Drake, Drake, it might be a little bit more smoke with Drake. But it seems like the way he ended this is pretty clear. He said, motherfuck the big three, nigga, it's just me. Nigga, bum, what? He said, I'm really like that. And your best work is a light pack. <laughs> <laughs> he said, nigga, Prince outlive Mike Jack, mm. which is hard. I, we're going to get to that in a minute. Mm. Um, and he's all nigga bum. He said that again, nigga bum. He's all for all your dogs getting buried. <laughs> you know what I'm Finish that's it up, crazy, right? Finish it up. He's all that's a K with all these nines. He's gonna see a pet cemetery. Mm, that was hard, nigga bum. Mm -mm. So I don't know, man. If they, I don't know who's called Kendrick a bum. That's the way I'm taking that. Like he's like, dude, y'all calling me a bum? What? Really? Yeah. Is, you he, know? is he saying that? Is he or is he saying you a bum? I just don't know if he's saying Drake's a bum or if he's responding to, to Drake calling him a bum. I'm just trying to figure that out. But anyways, go ahead. But let's get to the Prince outlive Mike Jack. You know what mm. I'm saying? Because obviously Prince did outlive Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? Literally, you know, not by much, but he did, you know, um, bef before he passed away. So I don't know if, if Kendrick's like saying, I'm more like Prince mm -hmm. and Drake, you're more like Michael Jackson. You make pop songs, you sell, sell a lot of records and all that shit, but... Do you get the respect as a pure artist? Yes, you do. I think so, too. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I don't know, though. I don't oh, know. Every boxer's check with Mike Jack. <laughs> so I don't know. That's an interesting analogy to use. <laughs> Mike checks every box. You know what I'm saying? Right? Yes, he does. But I think that's what he means, Ryan. I think that he's saying that, um, you know, Kendrick is sort of a recluse. He's been a recluse, I, I would say, by the standards, at least by today's yeah. standards. He kind of makes his albums, then he disappears. He makes some album, then he'll disappear for a while. Mm -hmm. Right? And he's purely about artistic integrity and being a pure artist and that's what um at least in what his idea of a pure artist is um because it's all subjective anyway at the end of the day um and then also that's prince is known for being that prince is extremely strict about his art yeah and how he wants it presented and and yep. released and all this other stuff so i think he's saying his music will you know outlive drake's music that's what i think he's saying yeah his music but he used michael jackson and Prince as, you know, for, for the analogy there. Like saying Prince outlived Mike Jack. I don't think Kendrick is saying that, that out, Prince's music will outlive Michael Jackson's music. I just think that that was, you know, sort of a slick little way for him to say he will outlive Drake. Because Michael Jackson's music is, is going to be here well, yeah. uh, probably longer than anyone's music to keep it real. Probably, he, yeah. he was that dynamic. <laughs> and Prince's music will be here for fucking ever. You know what I'm saying? So, like, neither one of them are, are going anywhere. But I just think that was Kendrick's way of saying, yeah, you do, you are a pop star. And that's just essentially where it ends with you. But when it comes to respect, because he said earlier up top, he said money, power, and respect, the last one's better. Right. So I think it's coming back to Correct. I get the respect, my art gets the respect, you don't. But then he said for all your dogs getting buried. You know, we all know that, that uh, Drake had for all my dogs, and there was a lot of criticism on that album. I don't know if he's saying that uh, musically, for all, bury that fucking album. You know what I'm saying? Because it didn't. we expected a lot more than what what you gave us. I don't know if he means, means it that way or if he means it in the literal sense of we could take it to, to some smoke shit because he said after that, that's a K with all these nines. K9, you know, that's a play on, on the dogs, right? For all my dogs is, is um, uh, Drake's record. And he said uh, he gonna see Pet Cemetery, which was a movie by I think Stephen King back in the day. But uh, that the whole dog play there for all my dogs, K9s, you know, 
So I don't know if that's what he means. Like, like, dude, I, you know, <laughs> we can we can really take it there if you want. Because he said earlier that I choose violence. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm bipolar with my temperature or something like that. But I choose violence. You know. <laughs> so I don't know if he means it in the literal sense. Nothing is literal with any either or in any of these. <laughs> in any case, well, in any of these guys, man, there ain't nobody going to no street shit. Yeah, I, just I think hope not. Lyrically, Lord, I hope yeah, not. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Ly lyrically, he's going to bury him. Is yeah, what he's exactly. saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The, the pet cemetery reference was dope, right? dog like yeah. clearly a dog is a pet mm -hmm. you know, pet cemetery and then i think what he said it's a k with all these nines i think he's saying kendrick it's mm -hmm. a k kendrick with all these nines i think yeah. is how i'm taking that um but then obviously <laughs> k9 a dog is a k9 mm -hmm. he's gonna see pet cemetery and even going back to that mike jack line obviously drake has always sort of likened himself he's compared himself to michael jackson right i think on first person shooter he said i'm one away from michael you know beat it mm -hmm. right right referencing michael jackson so that's where Kendrick came in and saying that he, you know, Prince outlived Michael Jackson. So just wanted to kind of point that out. I think that this was a jab by Kendrick, but it was a strong, stiff jab. Though. Yeah. Pause. But it was a stiff jab. Like, ma! You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he stepped into it. Like, this wasn't a haymaker or yeah, anything like right. that. A couple cute little slick lines just to let them know, just to take mm -hmm. their temperature. You know what I'm saying? To take their temperature. And I think that this was really dope that Kendrick did this. I just think he has a way with understanding how to capture moments, man. He knows who he is, and he knows what, he, he knew what this was going to do. Just like when he did the control <laughs> verse. Just yeah. like when he did the control verse, yeah. and he dissed everybody in the industry, but not really dissed them, but just kind of, yeah. you know, just, just making it a competitive thing. I think that this is a nice little joke in yeah. hip -hop, that hip-hop needed. Yes. It's a great joke for hip-hop yes. to have these three guys, because we know, we know something's coming back. From, I don't know what the, what the fuck Drake, uh, J. Cole's going to do, though. I know what Drake's going to do, but I, I don't know <laughs> what J. Cole's going to do because we know that J. Cole and Kendrick are friends, you know, even though with this little competitive thing that he kind of caught like a half stray uh, from Kendrick and this, but he didn't really go at J. Cole, um, in my opinion. So what? how will J. Cole respond competitively is, is what I'm thinking. Is he going to be like, man, I love Kendrick. Let's make a, let's do a feature. <laughs> Let's feature, you know, or is he going to come back and have his little, like, I fuck with you, but you know, there can only be one. Is he going to have that as well? You know, I'm, I'm going to extend this video a little bit, man. This would be like a podcast thing, but I'm going to extend this video a little bit. I'm thinking of Kendrick's position, right? Kendrick drops Mr. Morale to Big Steppers. I personally appreciated that album. I didn't necessarily love it, but I did appreciate yeah, I get it. Yeah. what he did artistically with it. And I think it was a great feather in Kendrick's cap artistically, but collectively, you know, uh, from what hip hop seemed, I mean, from all, I would say all angles of hip hop for the most part, and now that the dust has settled, I don't know if, if that was the best look for kids. I don't know if people really like the album, to yeah, keep it real. Yeah. I think, it's, it's, I think and for the people who like the album, I think a lot of them appreciate it, but they ain't playing the shit, Correct, yeah. to keep it real. So he's coming off that, and we'll just call that eh, right? He's coming off an eh album in many people's opinions. So if he gets into a battle with Drake, let's just say, you know, we'll see, we don't know what's gonna happen, and he gets annihilated, that would be, yeah, that would be really bad for him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> if he coming off a album and then Drake come back and smash him with a with a uh, pause, but you know, yeah. a crazy diss, it takes his head off. That could be so. This is a very, very like you know sensitive time, I would say, for Kendrick because he don't come outside that often. And the, the disadvantage of not coming outside that often is that when you do release something, that yeah. shit better be crazy. And it wasn't to many in many people's opinions. So now you go, you get into like a potential battle with the, the biggest rapper in the game, and he decapitates you lyrically. You know, this mark this as the as the point where this, this, this is the shot across the bow. It's like Kendrick sends the shot across the bow. If this is war times and we're on boats, right? Kendrick's in one boat, Drake's in another boat. Here's a shot across the bow. Drake can either choose to respond or just choose to let it go. But if Drake responds. <laughs> With a with a shot not across the bow, a direct shot, and it sinks your ship, that could be detrimental to Kendrick. And, and I, I think yes. And I think that <laughs> I think Kendrick's ship is on, I think it's like <laughs> it's already taken taking some hits. It's taking some hits. <laughs> it's taking some shrapnel or whatever the fuck you want to call it, taking a, a few a cannons to it to the side of it. So it can't afford. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Take another a hard hit right he, now. He, he hit he hit an iceberg or something. Yeah. It, it, it was, his his mis, uh, Mr. Morale of the Big Steppers was a was a self inflicted. Yeah, that room. motherfucker <laughs> got termites on the ship or something. You know what I'm saying? Not in my opinion. I'm just saying. Man, I'm talking I about collectively what I feel like I'm hearing in hip hop about Kendrick's last album and it being he's coming off of a I many hear, people you know. consider a shaky album. I so to lose you. a big time rap battle would be 
you know what I mean, would be tough. And let's keep it real, man. Drake, uh, you know, he took a high profile L. You know what I mean? I, th I think he still performed well, but it was an L when we're talking about collectively what hip hop thinks. So him taking another high profile L by the dude that he's fighting to be in the number one spot with right now is tough. And people are a little down on Drake because he hasn't been rapping as much. He rapped a little bit on the yeah. uh, the deluxe of For All The Dogs, but people are a little down on him. You know, most Def had the little slick line about Drake saying, yeah. <laughs> saying his shit's being played at yeah. Target and shopping yeah. malls. You know, so for all that's happening right now with Drake. Like, people are just kind of, you know, trying to diminish his legacy and go calling him a pop star. Most Def said he, you know, he didn't really say, but Most Def alluded to Drake not even really being hip hop like that. They, that was the, that's how many yeah, people took that. I remember that. So now yeah. you take an L to the guy that you're fighting in the number one spot with, you better come for blood. You better mm -hmm. I dig up all the nasty shit. You better go to Compton and get a private investigator to get all the crazy Stone Kendrick, bro. No L's. <laughs> It's just fun, though. We don't have a horse in this race. We don't. Just we don't. so y'all know. Yeah. We love all three of these dudes, and we think they're great, the hip-hop greats. And I would encourage people, man, to just have fun, man. Like, just have fun with it, man. Yeah. Don't Try not to take take. So I know that this is like, for this generation, y'all motherfuckers is just, you just love your rappers to the point where y'all get obsessed with them. But try not to be, like, obsessively ridiculous and just just hating and being extremely biased. Just have fun, man. Like, that is so true, though. It, it, this, is a good, this is good for hip-hop. It's good to have something, you know, for us to talk about, man, and to make it exciting again, man. So just chill out. That is so true that people have to fucking go for somebody. Yeah. It's, like, it's so true, because when I watch basketball games, people say, who are you rooting for? I, play, I just want to see a good game. I just want to see a good game. They look at me like I'm crazy. So yeah. you don't want someone... I'm like, no, I don't care. I just want to see a good game. Right. Like, what are y'all That's, buy? like, foreign to people, though. Yeah, you know what I mean? they so, just can't. So it's, it's hard. It's just the emotional connection that y'all have hard. with these rappers. So just try to give people... If somebody gets busy, just give them... They just, just say they got busy, man. Don't hate. <laughs> if Drake, I know people hate Drake. If Drake raps his ass, just give it up. If J. Cole gets busy, give it up. If yep. Kendrick Cooks, give it up, man. Yep. That's all. That's have it. fun with it, man. Y'all don't know these dudes like that, man. Stop being groupies. Yeah. Shout out to Metro, Kendrick future on this one this was fire give us some other recommendations this is out right yeah give us some more recommendations off the album yeah please you know let us know in the uh, comments below and on death the radio or our instagram that's the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed please subscribe i'm george that's ryan lost in vegas we out